Hi guys! Welcome back to the Creating Pages with eComposer series. In today's video, we'll give you detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a 404 page in Shopify using eComposer. A 404 page is a landing page that tells your site viewers the requested page is unavailable or, in some cases, doesn't exist. They reduce bounce rates, support SEO, and offer opportunities for creativity. Well-designed pages contribute to professionalism, customer retention, and error tracking, turning a potential frustration into a positive interaction. Usually Shopify theme provides only one page in your store. eComposer makes it easy to design appealing 404 pages, enhancing your customer's experience on your website. eComposer default 404 page will overwrite your current one in your theme and the changes you made will apply to your store. Before we start, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. Okay, let's go into part 1, how to build and apply a new 404 page to your Shopify store. Go to the Shopify dashboard, select app, and open eComposer landing page builder. In case you haven't installed the app, you can find the link to eComposer on Shopify App Store in this video description. From the eComposer dashboard, go to Templates and select 404, and click Build 404 page. At Quick Start, select Blank Template. Give it a name and click Start Building. Ok, now I will create a friendly 404 page including 4 main elements, image, heading, text, and buttons. I'll edit them a bit to make them look better. So, I have successfully created a 404 page. Now you need to click the publish button to make the page live. In the pop-up that appears, select overwrite Shopify default 404 page. This helps your 404 page to be triggered in cases. So, my 404 page is working. Let's check it out. Next, I will show you how to restore to the original Shopify 404 page. First, go to the eComposer app dashboard, select Template and click 404. Here, locate the Shopify 404 pages and hit on the icon Restore. And so, I restored the 404 page to Shopify default. That is the end of today's Create Pages with eComposer episode. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification to get the newest videos from our channel. Feel free to leave a comment or join the eComposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time.